What's up guys welcome back in this video we're gonna see how to write music like Pliny now full disclaimer guys as you can see I am not Pliny I'm, uh, I'm sorry basically in this video I'm gonna try my best to get close to his sound trying to use try to get a little bit into his head and trying to see if we can steal some composition techniques all right guys quick announcement before we start we're launching a new online music production bootcamp called prog camp and this is going to be specifically focused on modern progressive guitar centric music and so if you want to learn everything you need to know about music production quick in one place without having to waste time watching 100 videos for the next two to five years this is going to be the right place for you so it's a live online program we're gonna have five weeks together to work specifically on your music i'm gonna give you direct feedback week by week and then we're gonna have a two hour group session once a week for five weeks in which you see step by step the whole process of making a track from scratch starting from the initial idea all the way up to the final uh, polishing touches and so if you want to learn everything about making professional music in your home studio and if you want to get your music to sound more professional and most importantly if you want to have a consistent structure follow so you can consistently put out music that you're proud of again all you have to do is just enroll link is down in the description but you gotta be really really quick because we're starting this sunday 13th of november so there's only a couple days left and there's not a lot of slots available being this a live program so please act now early access is already gone uh, but you can still join at regular price anytime before this sunday so make it quick take action now and take your music to the next level i'll see you there so obviously everyone here i'm pretty sure loves his music and so now we're gonna start from scratch empty you know blank page here in ableton and i'm gonna try to get closer to his sound and see if there's any again techniques or things that maybe we can take away and use for our own music so yeah this is basically how to rip off playing enjoy because i was thinking i'm gonna start right away with a sort of grand opening sort of in the style of Handmade Cities, you know, Electric Sunrise. First of all, we need to pick a key. Obviously, I'm using, you know, the archetype Pliny. Goes without saying. Shoutouts to Neural ESP. Alright, so... We need something with flats. E flat or B flat. Those are like, to me, those are like the, the Pliny sounding keys. B major is another... Or like A flat minor. Yeah, this is a very Pliny sounding one. It starts with like a, a theme, something like this. A question that I that I get a lot is, you know, what what do you start with? You start with drums, guitars. It, it always changes. So in this case, I have sort of a guitar melody line in mind, so I'm gonna start with that. But you know, sometimes I start with the riffs, and sometimes I start with the drums. So it doesn't matter where you start from. The key point when you're writing a demo is that you need to have an initial idea, commit to it, record it right away, and then try to go fast, as fast as possible from there. So try to get the skeleton in place and try to commit as much as possible. Even if you know you're not 100% convinced convinced of what you're doing, maybe you want to change something. Maybe you think that riff doesn't sound good. Good, but try to commit to it first and then you can always fix it later but if you spend you know three hours and, and you know without even starting and you're still like trying to get a riff going and then three hours go by four hours go by and then you're still with a blank page you're gonna get very demotivated now I already forgot what I played you see th this is the exact reason why you need to do that because you don't want to forget that inspiration when it comes good luck very you know electric sunrise -y, i think uh i'm gonna just leave it there and we'll figure out exactly what to play later uh, i wanna get some chords going okay so i was thinking something like e major <laughs> Something like that. So yeah, something like this. A bit faster, maybe like 137. And then this needs to happen here. Uh, 
and you know it's gonna be sloppy at first but we don't care like i said before we're trying to go fast get get a skeleton going and then we can skip this and do like it is way out of time Something like... As you can see, I'm not afraid of quantizing, copy-pasting, editing, and doing all kinds of crazy shenanigans to, to the audio file, in this phase at least. Even like playing half speed, speed it up, uh, I don't care at all. I try to go as fast as possible and trying to get the idea going, and basically whatever it takes to get there. And of course, you know, once we figure out riff and we commit to it, I'm gonna obviously learn it and you know track it properly now we're just trying to figure out what the hell to do with this track so far we have Yeah, this feels decent. Let's do some drums. Do we have drums? And I'm just gonna do the accents, you know, following the guitars with like crashes and stuff. like the the choked you know what like this yeah Maybe with like a feel like this before, I don't know. No, it sounds like shit. Or maybe it works, I don't know. Yeah, maybe it works. Not sure about the, the stopped thing here, maybe just uh, just a regular you know, F sharp. Like this. Even though I kind of like the, the muted one. Not sure. We need to reference the master. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, that, that's exactly what, what I had in mind. Exactly what I was stealing from. This right here. Okay, so we can put like symbols in between like the, the Hyatt. You see guys, this is the importance of starting from stealing. <laughs> For lack of a better word, but basically you wanna you wanna start by copying people. There's no way you're gonna just write music if you don't have the language, the vocabulary already there. And in order to build that vocabulary, you need to learn music from other people. You need to copy other people, and see what they're doing, figure out how the genre works. You know, I've done a lot of these things. I call it creative stealing. So like you basically writing, but you know, with a with a tab open on whatever album you're trying to get close to as far as sound and you're not learning specifically you're not trying to copy note for note that song although you can do it is and, and that is another way to learn but we're just trying to create something similar you know something that uh, has the same vibe and so i'm very okay with like referencing openly you know like this this is not actually writing music you know what i mean so if i write my own music, I, obviously, I, I have a completely different approach. But since we're trying to learn, you know, we're trying to practice, basically. This is like a writing practice session. Basically, what we're doing is we're trying to figure out and get closer to a certain sound. And a really good way to do that is just by copying and trying to figure out what the hell is going on when you hear Pliny's music. Anyway, back to it. So we need the, the Hyatt. Yeah. And then maybe we start with the open one. And also make sure you're not playing too many symbols at the same time, like here. You know, remember a, a drummer only has two arms. Unfortunately. You know, I want to copy exactly the, the Hyatt pattern. It starts with the ride and then goes to the, to the Hyatt, I'm pretty sure. Not sure if I'm gonna use the ride in this case though. Maybe here we can do like a sort of feel like this guys obviously I'm not a drummer so I have a vague idea of what I'm doing but that's it we need like a more open open Hyatt this one Basically like a feel. Yeah, something like this. I'm gonna have obviously more stuff in the in the background going on, but this feels 
This feels like a good intro. Now we need to figure out what the hell we're doing as far as the time signature. We should be in 4-4 but here we're cutting uh, a beat so we have actually a 3-4 measure. And then we're back on f in 4-4. Four, four. Um, I guess 3 8s. No, it's just 4 8s. Okay, so like 2 4. I can't do math. Okay. Okay, so this feels okay. It's a bit weird as far as timing, but I guess it works. Alright, so we need to make another guitar track. Alright, so I just double tracked the rhythm guitar and now we're gonna go on to bass. So if you notice what I'm doing, I even if I just have you know this intro idea, I'm trying to make it sound as close as possible to the final product, right? And I don't always do this, sometimes I just you know focus on writing and then like arrange and you know do the other instruments later. But in this case I wanna I wanna have sort of a vibe feedback to what I'm doing so I went, uh, since I don't know you know I don't know what I'm doing basically I, I don't know what what the, the track should be I have zero ideas zero inspiration I just you know opened up Ableton decided to make this video and you know try to try to make something so in cases like that I try to basically make an arrangement as, as fast as possible so that I can get some inspiration back from that uh, you see now that you know if we if we play back the intro with all the instruments and all the you know the layers and stuff it's gonna feel a lot more inspiring and motivating to continue uh, than if it was just the lead guitar track like it was at the beginning and so in cases like these uh, that's what I like to do we're gonna add bass too and a couple of I guess additional production later we can copy the, the kick button and you know put it here do like E up the velocity Wait, I, I had the guitars in the, in the center the, the whole time. You're supposed to do left and right, of course. Let's play back again. Yeah, now I'm getting some some vibes, you know. And there's no way you can you can get that you know that that feedback from from the track that you you're trying to write if you don't commit to to the arrangement first. So that's why you know we're trying to go fast at the early stage so that we can have some of that vibe back. Now this lead guitar part is not cutting it so we're gonna need a better tone. I gain lead. That's better. And actually it could be a little bit more high gain, maybe the bright switch. <laughs> One quick trick for lead guitars, make sure you roll off the super high frequencies. I mean you don't have to, but if you want like a more creamy sounding lead, that's definitely, you know, how to do it. You know, something like this maybe. Now we can instantly get away with more treble. Maybe we cut a little bit here. Yeah, this feels better. Add 
did this. Should be like this. And then I want to like... to make this sound like Pliny we absolutely need some sort of marimba or like kalimba type sound toy marimba let's see now wait wait it's not it's not a it's the it's a glockenspiel that i'm, that I'm talking about and we're gonna layer basically the, the same melody <laughs> I guess I'm gonna try and see if there's a better one later, but for now I guess it works. See with this. Yeah, it kinda sounds like crap, not gonna lie, but reverb we can fix anything. Yeah, now it starts to sound magical. We absolutely need some distortion because these transients are killing my ears. Yeah, we're not gonna spend too much on these details, but you know, it's nice to, nice to have you know, a cool re representation of what we had in mind. You know what? We need. We need. I know what we need here. Clean guitar. Okay, so this could be our, I guess, main idea. And this could bridge the, the transition through the, the second part of the riff of the track. And then we could put like a, a fill here. With... And then we can repeat from there. We could even try the... <laughs> this is probably too much of a rip-off, I don't know. I'm gonna do just one and then copy-paste, who cares. But I wanna see if this works. It definitely works. Oh my god, sounds really good. Maybe gonna introduce some variations like... Thank you. 
Yeah. Let's try to put this in the riff. We could do like... So this one measure. Then we could do something like every two. drum feel here. And we, we go into the verse section. Alright guys, I'm gonna probably take a break now and continue either later tonight or tomorrow. Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said earlier, if you wanna learn everything about music production, drum programming, bass programming, arrangements, uh, how to dial in tones, mixing. We're gonna have a five weeks live program online starting this Sunday, 13th of November. So make sure you enroll now if you're interested in taking your music to a professional level and get a consistent structure to come up with consistent results. So the link is down in the description. You'll see all the details for this program. We're starting very soon, so there's not a lot of time available. So make sure you act quick. Again, link in the description, and I hope I'll see you there. If not, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.